So you have two brothers, right? Jim and Jerry. They have an abusive father who beats the crap out of them, who drinks and neglects them, right? Their father gets hit by a train at age when their boys are age 17. They're gone, they no longer have him. Fast forward a couple of years. One of the brothers has become a criminal. He's become just like his father. He beats up his children, he neglects his children, he is not the best father figure. The other son is a family man. He has his own business, he takes care of people, he's respected in his community, he looks after his children and does well, does everything. He's the paragon of virtue. Why do you have two different lives, two different results coming from the same freaking circumstance? You ask both the, both the brothers why they became the people they were. And they say, with a father like this, I couldn't have been anything else. Now, I got that story from Tony Robbins. That highlights the effects and the power of beliefs. Because these two people are the same circumstances, but they had completely different beliefs and interpretations of those events. All right, so let's get into it, right? What exactly is a belief? Your belief is your interpretation of certain events and is basically what it means, what you believe to be true. We know that the world we live in is 100% objective. There is neither good or bad, just labels that we put onto things. So your beliefs are exactly the same things, just your interpretation, what you choose to focus on in life and your beliefs are the reason why you are where you are and not where you want to be. People tend to think that people that are successful, people that do well, it's based off luck. It's based off just pure luck. They won the lottery of life. They're born in privileged circumstances and they do well because of that. What we need to remember is correlation is not causation. A lot of people have been brought up in good circumstances and have done poorly. They become serial killers or they go to Syria and join the fight over there. And then some people are born in piss poor conditions and they rise up and they make something out of themselves. They no longer live in shitty conditions. They've become made men or made women. Now, why do we have these completely different events happening? As we said before, it all stems back to beliefs. So let's try analyze what exactly makes up a belief. What is a belief? I would like to invite you guys to visualize with me. I invite you to think of this metaphor to describe beliefs. Think of your beliefs as a table, right? At the bottom of the table, you have your legs. These legs are memories or reference points, events that have happened to you that support your belief. At the top of your table is your belief. The more legs you have, the more stable and grounded your belief is. So the more memories you have to support a certain belief, the more stable it is. But here's the thing about memories, it's very selective. Your belief, as I said before, you choose to focus on certain things that make that belief. So let's take an example of if you believe that you're ugly. Perhaps previously when you were younger, your childhood friends called you ugly or some people at school called you ugly and you choose to remember that and to focus on that and because you're focusing on that that becomes the basis of your belief and you go into the world thinking that you are ugly whereas if you took a completely different approach and thought of all the times people gave you compliments all the times of people say that you really, really did well and highlighted your achievements you might go through the world thinking you're a motherfucking badass that you're a sick man a, a killer, a serial killer, you know, hidden goals, making sure shit happens. This is the power of beliefs. You need to think of what you want to focus on and focus on that. Always choose empowering beliefs and choose, choose empowering memories because we have the ability to choose what we focus on as people. We don't have the ability to choose what happens, but we can choose what we focus on. So if you want to have strong beliefs that empower you, make sure you choose good memories to support you. The reason you want empowering beliefs is because empowering beliefs lead to right actions. And actions, as we always discuss, 
lead to results. It's only through taking the right actions, necessary actions, day in and day out, that we get what we want, right? If we don't take the right actions, if we have disempowering beliefs, thinking that we're pathetic, worthwhile, worthless, and never gonna achieve anything, we're not gonna take any actions, and we're not gonna get any results. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. It doesn't matter if the belief is right or wrong. Just choose the empowering belief because that's what's gonna cause you to take the action. That's what's gonna cause you to get the results and the results are real. The beliefs are not real. They're just choices you make in your head. Anyway, I hope you guys got some value out of this video. Peace.